Beijing is a lively city, especially at night. There are people everywhere, busy streets and bright, shining lights. Everything was so new to me, which was overwhelming. This was particularly true for the night market. A sidewalk packed with tourists, as well as locals, gaze at the continuous line of stands. Many people look disgusted and also amazed. Others look emotionless, as if this market is ordinary. Flashes light up the market as people take pictures of what locals call food. Vendors yell in both broken English and Mandarin. Tourists consult each other in their native languages. Gould students shout about how gross something is. Locals and vendors are yelling at each other, trying to make a transaction. There is so much commotion, the noise just makes it even more hectic. As I walked down the crowded street, trying to get glimpses of the stands, all I could see were the oddly shaped outlines of foods displayed on each stand. I finally weaved my way through the crowd up to a stand where I saw what all the frenzy was about. Rows upon rows of insects were laid neatly on colorful trays. I stood there for a minute, staring at the potential food for anyone who was brave enough to eat it. The bustle of the market forced me to move on, but as I went further, I realized many of the stands were like this. Most markets I've been to sell fruit or vegetables. This market sells edible insects. Scorpions look nauseating. The centipedes looked repulsive. The crickets didn't look any better. People around me had disgusted expressions on their faces. Others, mainly the locals and a few gutsy tourists, bought a stick of cockroaches. Before I could see them take a bite, I turned my head to a crowd of people around a stand. From my distance, all I could see were dark brown ovals on sticks. As I got closer, I could start seeing heads and tails. When I reached the stand, I realized they were seahorses. Not only did this market have insects, but seahorses as well. Seahorses are animals I'm used to seeing in aquariums, not in a market. It was strange to see seahorses being considered as food. As I walked toward the end of the line of stands, I finally realized I was actually on the other side of the world. Insects and seahorses being cooked and eaten isn't something you see every day back home. It was so different than any food I've ever seen. This was China.